Hey guys, Mike from Ball Python Boulevard here, and we're bringing you another Freedom Breeder build. And this is the 1040 rack. Uh, so this is the most common rack uh, for the uh, breeders. Um, will house most of your females, I would say up to 5,000. Uh, it's probably right under, right under, yeah, 4,500 grams. So uh, it's the most common used, uh, very, very versatile uh, rack. Um, but yeah, let's uh, let's put this baby together. So obviously we got our wheel base on. Uh, this one came all in pieces, so we will be putting on the panels. Once again, we got the insulated uh, panels. Uh, once again, to retain ex extra heat in here, so I just pay the upcharge on that to get the extra insulation. Oh, and again, there's a hole here. For your power cord, don't put it underneath. Make sure it goes through the hole so you don't pinch your power. There you go. By the way, I'm Josh from Trinity Exotics, and our camera lady is Kendra from Music Sound Pythons. Hi, Kendra. Hi. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Make sure we have those notes there. No, because oh. the wrong side. Oh, yeah. And you should be. Really uh, having some gloves for this. Uh, I did sh shred my hands uh, last year putting this rack together. So uh, especially on the uh, panels, they are really, really sharp edges. So and even uh, Freedom Breeder recommends that you wear gloves uh, for this build. They also recommend you have a hammer too. Yeah. He likes to use his hands. Rubber, rubber mallet to uh, snap snap things in. But that's. Yeah, me. All right. These panels are a lot lighter than the uh, 1575 ones. Well, we did have the bins in those. Yeah. <laughs> that, so that's definitely. All right. Oh, wait. Hey, we got to put heat on too now. We're getting heat. We can put that in between. Right. Yeah, yeah. We'll do that again. So pretty easy build for the most part, nice and simple, especially if you got a second person helping you out. Doing some uh, spinning around here because we weren't very thorough with our prepping. Yeah, but I mean, they, these guys do a great job in putting these racks together really well, good weld jobs. Good ventilation. Uh, yeah, for the most part, even after shipping, there's not really uh, any issues getting these to pop in. So they really do a fantastic job on getting these ready. Now, keep in mind, guys, always check your boxes and make sure there's no damage in shipping. If there is any damage, use it and send it back. Yeah. The Freedom Breeder, if you don't write anything on the bill of lading, Freedom Breeder won't reimburse you, neither will ARS or any other racks. There's so and that's just a common thing, obviously. And, and I did have some damage on the packaging. I tore through the shrink wrap and through the cardboard down to the metal, so I made sure the driver notated that. Even obviously we didn't see any uh, damage after we took that wrapping off, but we wanted to make sure it was on the notated on the bill of lading. So, all right, all right so there we go. We shell. Let's pop those, uh, well, let's, let's pop those in, then we'll pop the bins in. Now, these are sharp as well, so be careful not to cut yourself. Oh, you know something? Hey, we messed up a little bit, I think. Do we have a level missing? Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We don't. That's weird. Oh, we just got extra Velcro. That's okay. Sweet. Last layer has a extra Velcro. Got me a little confused, but that's okay. So remember, these these are really sharp, guys. So you got to be really careful not to cut your fingers on these. And yeah, they do a great job getting that Velcro right on there for us.
where it should be. All right, let's pop our bins in. And these uh, I got with the cup holders once again, guys. Make sure you pay the extra dollar, get the cup holder. Last thing you want is that snake moving that water all around, flipping upside down, making a mess in your tubs. This is well worth it. Pay the extra dollar, trust me. Yeah, your breeder girls really like to make a mess when they're uh, doing the business, so it is nice to have it. I bought one rack without it, and trust me guys, I regret it. I only did it because it was a one week backlog on the uh, tub ones. I didn't want to wait an extra week to get my rack, and now I'm regretting it. So, just wait. And for you, there might not be a wait. <laughs> if you guys ever need any good recommendations, uh, Jesse at Freedom Breeder, he's a great guy. Uh, really will help you out and get you the right rack uh, for your needs. So uh, if you're just getting into it, these guys do a great job in taking care of the customer. Uh, I mean, truly amazing customer service. And uh, they really want to make sure you're successful in what you're doing. I mean, Freedom Breeder is awesome. ARS is awesome. It all depends on your preference. If you do uh, decide you want to get involved with ARS, talk to Brian over there. Those guys are pretty great too, and they can help you get right where you need to be. Let you know what suggestions they have and help you make a right decision. Let me get a fan in your mic. My knee one. But hey, it's going to be a snake one. Yeah, that's going to be 100 degrees <laughs> in here all day. All these rats. I'll need to turn the heat on in the house again. Josh here did buy an ARS uh, hybrid rack, so I can't wait to see his uh, setup video for his. <laughs> that's um, that's going to take me a little while. Little three, four hour build. Yeah, by myself. We'll, 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 we'll have to see what the time lapse on yeah. this is. That will be a time lapse video. Yeah, that will have to be a time lapse video. That'll be one long video if you don't. Guys, make sure you check out his rodent rack uh, video we posted as well. Those rodent racks from Freedom Creator, wow. Very impressed. So, and if you guys want to see the other rack builds, there's also a 1030 rack build that is going to be available and a 1575 hatchling rack uh, as well. So, make sure you guys check out all those videos to see how all these pop together and how they look. That took us from start to finish less than 15 minutes, guys. That's all right, awesome. here you go, guys. Kendra, come here. Beautiful Freedom Breeder 1040 rack, the most versatile uh, rack for your breeding needs. Just uh, truly amazing. Craftsmanship on these is just truly amazing. So uh, if you guys are looking for this, uh, obviously a lot of different options available. We got interchangeable ventilation system. So obviously here in the Pacific Northwest, 25% but you can uh, get these with 50, 75, 100. Uh, some of the guys in Florida, I hear they use like 200% ventilation. Uh, so very, very, very versatile. Just pops right in there as soon as you can get into the back, back slot. Yep, slide back. Slide back in my, oh, there you go, my fault. Not all the way in on that side. There you go. There we go. Um, the other nice thing about them sliding out is they're easy to clean. Because you have a lot of humidity hitting up there, you will get mildew up there. You're going to want to clean it on a regular basis. Very important. Um, yeah. So, but really, really overall, a great rack system. And, uh, yeah, I'm very happy with it. And look forward to uh, just continuing my, uh, my business with Freedom Breeder because I sure do love their product. 
Love their customer service too. I mean, that's a huge part, honestly, guys. Customer service is a big thing. And uh, I love the fact that they really make it personal. And uh, Jesse's amazing over there. I can't say enough good things about him. So yeah, Jesse sent me a cell phone number. I talked to him back and forth yeah. about products that I've purchased from Freedom Breeder, um, future projects I've purchased from him, which, I mean, I tell you what, that's coming together really nicely. Nice. That's awesome. Uh, obviously, there's a lot of different uh, variations to these racks. You can get uh, half racks. Um, you can actually get extra levels if you guys want. You can actually get uh, smaller levels. They also customize rack systems. So if you need some, uh, let's say some uh, 1030s and some 1040s and then maybe some hatchling, they, they can do that. Um, as well, so you can you can really customize these rack systems, um, and they do have a uh, a system in place where you can uh, put a smaller rack, like the hatchling racks, on top of your 1030, 1040. Uh, the other nice thing, which I jumped to this year, and I did buy, and uh, it'll be available on the video for the hatching rack and also for the 1030 we're going to show you, which is the shelf. This is something new they came out with in the past year. Um, and I guess I probably should bend those before I pulling that out. They do have stoppers. <laughs> uh, but yeah, these, these are nice maintenance. So you can just pull out and just work on your uh, maintenance on your rack. So really, really... Uh, really great thing that they added this past year and um, I'm looking forward to uh, using these so uh, but I think that's it you got anything else Josh uh, I got nothing else. what do you this think so what do you think of these racks um, I, I'm happy I got my ARS rack but I'm not gonna be buying another one from ARS <laughs> these have been very impressive putting them together quite happy with the quality and the welds I mean the welds are great um, yeah I got I got a new vendor for my racks. All right. Well, guys, I hope you like this video. And uh, if you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Hit that uh, like button, notification bell, so you know when we upload. We do a lot of live stuff, so we want to make sure you don't get a chance to uh, miss any of the hatching stuff or any of the cutting videos because uh, we go live with all those. So. Uh, make sure you guys check out the links that I'll have in the description for Trinity Reptiles um, and for uh, Puget Sound uh, Pythons. So those will be down below. There'll probably be a couple icons in there too. You guys can just slam on those and, and, and make sure you guys subscribe. Give those guys some love. But as always, love you guys. God bless. Have a great one. We'll see you guys at the next one.